Hey guys, this is Ray Guy521, and today I'm gonna do something different. Don't know why, but I felt like doing a guitar lesson. So, I'm gonna teach you my favorite band, Rage Against the Machine, People of the Sun. Now, for this song, you're gonna need an Allen wrench, like this. I'm on your garage or whatever you keep your tools. Now, what you're gonna do is on, like, a guitar like you would see now has like a switch that goes up and down. Now on that you would switch it all the way to the left from if you're holding the guitar like this, you know. You're gonna switch it all the way up to the left. It's gonna make a waving sound. But with mine, you're just gonna switch it like that. It's gonna be on the left too. So for this you're gonna put your fingers like this on the Allen wrench, put it on your A string, second string down. A string. This may not sound right because it's either not tuned right or it's just because my guitar is a little different than most. And you're gonna put your finger, I like to keep mine up here where you're gonna hit, you're gonna hammer on after you do the part you're gonna hammer on right here. As you can probably see right there unless my camera is too close. You're gonna hammer on up here on your first fret on the A string. Now you're gonna do this. You're gonna kind of, it's gonna sound a little wrong, but right now I'm just gonna show you the sound you're gonna hear. If it doesn't sound like that, if you hear too much scratching or anything, then you're obviously not in the right, you know, the waving sound. So I call it Tom Morello sound. It's gonna kind of sound like this. I can't really get the hammer on, right? You're gonna do that, and then the main part that you would think would be a bunch of strumming, like, it's not, it's actually, I like to keep my middle, or well, my ring finger, on the, it's gonna be the low E string, which is first string on top right here. You're gonna have your ring finger on that, and then you're gonna have your middle finger on the second fret, same string. You're gonna, but you're not gonna have it on there right now. You're gonna hammer on at the end again. You're gonna start right here. I forgot to tell you, these are pickups. You're gonna start at the end of your second pickup. You're gonna go up. You're gonna start scratching a little bit right here. You're gonna do. And then right there, you're gonna let go. And then you're gonna hammer on right here. You're gonna do that again, but without that, you're gonna go. And then, crap. The only part that uses a pick is actually very simple. You just do that, you know, follow the song. And the only part that uses a pick, this is a pick, just in case you're really dumb. You're gonna do, oh, hold it the wrong way, gosh dang it. You're gonna do low E string again. You're gonna go on your fifth fret. And you're gonna strum it, of course. And you're gonna bend it down until you get this sound. And then after you do that, you're gonna kinda like let it go up. And you're gonna strum all of them at the same time real quick and then, you know, don't let it ring out like You know, you're gonna, it's gonna sound like and it's gonna be like this, the whole thing. So, if you keep doing that, you know, there's, that's really it, you know. Just remember to get an Allen wrench. It doesn't matter the size, as long as, you know, I'd recommend medium size. Like, you know, if you have about three you can pick out, I'd choose a medium size because too small is not going to be loud enough. Big is just going to have a scratching sound to it. Medium just like it's supposed to be. So, comment, rate, subscribe, you know, become a Ray fan, and um, right after this, I'm going to do a Linkin Park One Step Closer uh, tutorial video, so just wait for that one, which will be like five seconds from now, so.
comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.